Hi there, my name is Johan and I'm the product manager for Tobu Studio. I'm here today to present to you some of the new features and functionality of Tobu Studio 3.0. So the first thing I want to talk about is AOIs of areas of interest. And those familiar with Tobu Studio or any other eye tracking software knows that AOIs is an integrated and important part of most quantitative and eye tracking analysis studies. So for Tobu Studio 3.0, we have completely remaked the AOI tool. And also, you're now able to create AOIs on dynamic content, such as uh, videos and recordings. So the easiest way for me to show you this is by a simple example. So let me just show you that. So for the purpose of this example, I prepared a simple animated video of a truck and a building. So let me just play that quickly to demonstrate it. As you can see, the truck moves, then behind the building, and then it stops. If this was a real study and the truck is the object of interest, I would maybe be interested in to find out how much attention the truck gets throughout the scene. Thus, my task would be to create an AOI that follows the truck. So let me go ahead and do that. The first thing I have to do is to create an AOI that covers the truck. And for the purpose of this example, I'm going to use a simple rectangle, but of course I could use the polygon tool to create a more detailed AOI. But I'm going to stay with the rectangle. So I create my AOI, then I select it and rename it the truck, and I'm also going to give it a prettier color. There you go. So let me play it to see what happens. As you can see, my truck moves, but the AY remains still. So what I have to do then is to take my AY and reposition it and resize it to fit both the new position and size of the truck. Let me play that again to see what happens now. As you can see now, the AY is following the truck. But why is that? That's because each time you edit an AOI, either shape or position, a keyframe is created. The keyframes are indicated down here in the timeline as small circles. And also, between the keyframes, the AOI is then in linear interpolated. Now I'm going to play the movie once again to demonstrate another feature. I'm going to stop here just before the truck goes behind the building because that demonstrates a rather common scenario when you're working with dynamic content. And that is that your object of interest would either disappear or be occluded by other objects in the scene. To handle this, each dynamic AOI have a property called activation. So when the activation is turned off, the AOI is not collecting any data to your statistics. So I'm going to turn the activation off here. And then I'm going to step a bit forward just before the truck reappears behind the building and turn the activation on again. So my simple scene is now complete and I'm going to play it one last time. So another great thing about the new dynamic AOIs is that they share the same features and properties as the static AOIs. This means that you can use the grouping tool to group them either with static or dynamic AOIs and you can apply the same eye tracking metrics. My next topic is the data export. And as for the AOIs, the data export is an extremely important feature, especially for you that want to do further analysis in third-party software like Excel and SPSS. So for Tobu Studio 3.0, we have completely remaked the data export tool. And we have worked a lot to make the workflow more efficient for you to export a lot amount of data and to select what data types to really export. So I'm just going to demonstrate this to you real quickly. Exporting data is done in three steps. First, you select your data set. Then you have to select the data types or the columns in your spreadsheet. And last, you have to select how to format your data. So I start then by selecting my data set. And as you can see, this gives me three options on how to choose my data set. I can either export entire recordings or segments from a recording or I can export media. When you export media, just the relevant data for that particular media will be exported. But in this example, I'm going to go ahead and select the full recordings. So now I have to select my recordings. And as you can see, I can select recordings from all my tests in my current project. 
and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all the recordings from all the tests in my project. So, next up is to select the data type or what will become the columns in my exported data. To make this a bit easier for you and to get a better overlook, we have arranged all the data types in groups and sections. And also, all data types have a good description so that it's easy for you to understand what you actually are exporting. Last but not least, I have to select how to format the data. As for example, you can choose to export everything into a single file or you can export into individual files. Altogether, there's a lot of options available for how to format and select in data types. To make this a bit more efficient, we have implemented support for you to save all these selections into settings. And also, Studio ships with a lot of predefined settings for you to get started with. And for this example, I predefined a setting called Track, which I'm now selecting. And I'm now ready to export my data, so I'm going to click Export. And then I'm going to choose the Destination folder. There you go. And Export is done. And then I fire up Excel. And then I open my file Excel. There. And I select the file. And I open it. And then I press Finish. And there you go. Here's my export. From all the recordings and all the tests in my project. That was just a short highlight of some of the new features and functionality of Tobu Studio 3.0. To learn more about these features and other improvements of this release, make sure to visit our website, tobu.com. But bye for now.